Hey YouTube, Jim here. Welcome to Top 10 Archive. Usually when you go on vacation, it's because you've selected some place special that you want to visit. A relaxing paradise or an amusement park. Then there are those times where you want to take that thrill to the next level. Some place that sends chills down your spine. From the Lizzie Borden house to the Hill of Crosses, here are the top 10 creepiest tourist attractions. Number 10. The Sea of Trees The Sea of Trees is a forest located in Okigahara, Japan, that got its name due to its dense, beautifully lush trees, but it also has a more sinister name, the Suicide Forest. Other than people going there to end their lives or to investigate <coughs> Logan Paul, some people actually go there to film the forest. It came to be known as the Suicide Forest due to the 100 people a year on average that choose this location as their final destination. Local police now patrol the area with the specific goal of preventing people from ending their lives. Furthermore, the forest contains so much iron that finding cell phone or GPS service is non-existent. So if you plan a trip there, tread carefully so as not to accidentally become another victim to the forest. Number 9. Island of the Dolls The Island of Dolls can be found in Mexico and is believed to be one of the scariest places in the country. It all started when a man, Don Julio Santana Barrera, found a young girl who had drowned in the canal near his home. With her, he found her toy doll so he hung it up in respect for her. Shortly after, however, he began hearing footsteps rustling around in the nearby brush and trees, and that meant only one thing to him, spirits. To satisfy them, he began hanging up more and more dolls, but they still called for him. He continued collecting and hanging up the dolls for 50 more years until he died in 2001. However, he too drowned and was found in the same spot as the young girl. Now his nephew maintains the place and allows tourists to walk around and explore. Number 8. Sedlec Ossuary – Church of Bones Imagine walking into a church that is decorated with human bones, and not just a few human bones, but more than 40,000 human skeletons decorating the place. The obvious question being, why are there that many skeletons? It turns out these people wanted to be buried in a holy place. The church was holy, not because it was a church, but because there was sacred soil that had been spread around the cemetery. Once word got out, it became a very popular burial place. 30,000 of the skeletons belonged to plague victims from the 14th century, while 10,000 of them belonged to victims of the Crusades, while a few additional burials occurred over time. Number 7. Lizzie Borden House Some of you may be familiar with the Lizzie Borden House, but for those of you who are not, it's home to where two people were brutally murdered in 1892. Lizzie, the daughter of Andrew and Sarah Borden, is believed to have murdered both her parents with an axe. Although the murder is still unsolved, many speculate it could only have been Lizzie. Now the Lizzie Borden house offers tours where people claim to experience strange anomalies. Maureen Wood and paranormal scientist Ron Colick both describe experiencing ghostly events in the house. As of early 2021, the house is actually for sale. If you have an extra $2 million burning a hole in your pocket, that is. Number 6. Salem Some of us learned about Salem during school, which is famous for its 1692 witch trials. During this time, several of the locals were executed for allegedly practicing witchcraft. It started with two young girls who claimed to be possessed, then accused several local women of witchcraft, which led to their executions. This went on for about nine months before finally coming to an end, but it was messed up enough to make history that we still talk about to this day. In total, about 25 people were killed, a much lower number than you probably expected, but still 25 too many. 
today, there are available tours of Salem, where every site relevant to the trials is one of your stops. Number five, Amityville Horror House. This Amityville house in Long Island became more than just a regular home when 23-year-old Ronald J. DeFeo Jr. murdered his entire family. Using a 35 Marlin rifle, Ronald went through the halls in his house, murdering his parents and four siblings while they slept. Once the house was for sale again, the Lutz family purchased the house at a drastically lower price due to the horrors that went on in the house. However, they only lasted 28 days before leaving. One of the people who lived there said he woke every morning around 3.15 a.m., around the time the murders happened. They also claimed to smell strange odors and to see green slime oozing from the walls, along with feeling cold spots in some rooms. There have been books and movies made on the house, which in turn has attracted a ton of tourists. Number four, the catacombs, Paris. Below the lovely city of Paris lay seven million bodies in the catacombs. Who would have thought, right? The bones make up most of the decorations, lining the walls and ceilings. The history of the catacombs starts in the 18th century when health problems started to rise due to the city's cemeteries. The decision was made to move the cemetery's contents to an underground site, which led to the catacombs. At the time, it lay outside of the city's capital, but now it is viewed as a tourist attraction, much like the Eiffel Tower. Would you tour the labyrinth that is the catacombs? Or would you visit the less creepy tourist attractions in Paris? Number three, the Hill of Crosses, Lithuania. The Hill of Crosses is a pilgrimage site starting in 1850 leading up to now, where there are over 100,000 crosses. Since the devastating battles in 1831 against the Russian Empire, the hill has become a sacred place for the residents of Lithuania. The battle that had taken place resulted in many casualties, and as a tribute to those who died, many family members and friends started placing crosses on the hill. At first, it started with a few crosses, and sometimes they would be taken down due to the religious meanings but the crosses were always back by the next day. Now there stand thousands, and you can even follow a path through the whole thing. Number two, the Stanley Hotel. It all started in 1911 when an explosion caused by an accumulation of acetylene gas from a leaky pipe blew up what is known as Room 217. Elizabeth Wilson was responsible for the incident and luckily survived and continued working at the hotel until her death in her 90s, although it is said she is still there with them, haunting room 217, but now happens to be a more friendly ghost. Guests have said they wake up to find their clothes unpacked and folded or their shoes rearranged. One person even claims the bed was made around them, there are other paranormal activities you can experience at the Stanley Hotel, and if you wish, you can even rent a room to stay the night in. Number 1. Winchester Mystery House The Winchester Mystery House was once the residence of Sarah Winchester, who brought up the house purely through her imagination. The strange thing about it is that once it was built, it looked like an unfinished farmhouse, then they kept adding on but not in the normal way. Staircases would be added on, but they were made different sizes or led several stories up, then just ended abruptly. Doors would open up to solid walls, or turning a corner in a hallway could lead you to a dead end, and so on. Why would Sarah build a house this way? Historians believe she went insane after losing her husband and infant daughter, so she sought out the advice of a medium who told her she must continuously build a home for herself and the spirits of people who had fallen victim to Winchester rifles. So that's exactly what she did. From 1886 until her death in 1922, some accounts say that construction continued around the clock the entire time. Thanks for watching. Hmm, 
I'm planning a vacation of my own soon. Anyone want to join me in visiting some of these unusual places? Where should we go first? Let me know in the comments. Be sure to visit the subscribe and notifications buttons before you go. Give this video a like so you'll have a slew of other interesting videos waiting for you when you return.